Hey guys, in this video, I wanna do a quick tour of my new studio. I'm here at the new house that we bought and moved into with my family. And uh, you probably noticed I wasn't posting for a little while and I really apologize about that. That's because I've been getting the new studio ready and moving into the house and getting everything finalized with that has really taken uh, some time from me. But now I'm really excited because as you can see, I live right here and my office is just right over here. This is the office, if you will. It's my studio. So. When I bought the property, it came with these two shipping containers. There's one here, one here. They're just steel shipping containers. They're eight feet wide by about eight feet tall by 20 feet long, each one of them. I use that one for storage right now, but this one is my studio. And I kind of painted these and fixed them up. So they were just empty when I bought them, just regular shipping containers. Although they had this kind of structure built in between, which is a, so I use as like a, a shop, like my garage shop. Anyway, we open it up here. And we can see uh, kind of what I've done. So I didn't do much. This is like the original floor that it came with in here. I just built a little workbench. I'll let my camera lighting adjust a little bit. So I've got all my tools that I use here. I have a nice workbench with a vise and some different things I have, some different storage options. Behind me here, I also have some shelving where I can store different things and use. And I built this wall. This is, I'd say, about four feet. Oh, I'll include the link too. So this is all open source as it relates to my channel a little bit. Um, I'm going to open source the plans and if you're interested in building a similar thing like I did, I'll kind of document the process and share that with you as well. Anyway, uh, we come in here and this is the actual studio. So I wired it up. We've got uh, electricity in here. This is what I do when I come in in the mornings. I usually hit this power strip on and that turns on all my lights. So I've got a nice adjustable light here. And they're really cool. I don't include maybe the links to some of this stuff. So you can adjust if it's like a warm light or more of a white light. I have everything set to sort of a white daylight right now. Um, I've got an overhead light here that shines down on top of me when I'm doing my videos. I have a couple different, I have two different computers hooked to these monitors. So uh, this one right now runs a Windows computer. I've been doing my Olive video tutorials on this one. And then these are running Solus Linux, the, these other three. And they're connected, I can file share and they're connected between the two. I've got a camera here for just looking forward when I'm sitting in front of the camera. Also a side camera, this is like a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema. And I use this for uh, doing things on the desk if I'm recording something like with my hands. Uh, and this is a Canon, this is like an older Canon Rebel T3. It doesn't even do, well it, it maxes out at 1080p. 30 frames per second. I wish it was 60, but it's fine for just shrinking the video down to the corner when I do my tutorials. I've got a Rode mic here that I use for recording my audio. What else? I have a little uh, phone here that I use too sometimes if I'm for doing, uh, I haven't used it yet, but for doing tutorials on like Android devices. Got a cool little lamp here. So my Raspberry Pi collection. Um, I keep all my camera equipment right here. And it, it, it's in this Pelican case, so it makes it really nice and handy if I ever want to just grab this and go. I've got some different cameras in here, some lenses, some good audio recording equipment, uh, just everything I need, battery chargers, extra batteries, things like that. What else? This computer runs, I believe at the moment it's uh, Linux Mint. Uh, this is just an, another little workstation for doing video recording, some uh, video editing. Uh, yeah, and then... In here, this is actually the bathroom. So I plumbed in a bathroom. It's still a little work in progress. Let me turn the lights on in here. So this is the shower right here. Just a little shower you can shower in. And then this is going to be a sink basin right here. And then the toilet will be there. I got a little vent in here for some airflow for ventilation. Uh, and I think if I, I I'm kind of torn. I might put a server in here too. I have a nice server rack I could put and turn this into a server room. In any event, I'm going to do some cryptocurrency mining in here over the winter to heat the whole place. The computers are sitting right here. So this is the one that we built on the channel a couple months ago. And this is just uh, the Windows computer. Nothing too special here, but this guy's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's really about it. The whole thing is powered by one 20 amp breaker, by a single 20 amp breaker. Uh, I've got battery backup here, so if the power goes out, I have a little bit of time, maybe 10, 15 minutes to shut everything down and get my work saved. Uh, yeah, well, that's it. 
Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're interested in the setup behind me, I'll be making a video of how I share the keyboard and mouse between the two computers, uh, how I manage the cameras and file sharing and some of that stuff relating to media and video production. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and check out that other video. Also, I'm including a link to the build process of this shipping container studio. I documented all the steps for building it. And so it's just a quick little run through, but if you wanna watch that, check that out as well. That's on my other channel. Um, if you're new to this channel, TJ Free, I invite you to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Uh, here at TJ Free, I share open source and free software uh, to get you interested in it and show you how to use it. And so check out some of those tutorials or those introductory videos learning about free software and open source in general. Uh, but as always, thanks for watching and I look forward to catching you in the next video.